So I made it to Medjugorje. It's here. It's a Friday or Saturday evening, Saturday, first Saturday. So I'm actually, I did arrive on the first Saturday here to Medjugorje and I'm here on my own. There is, it is completely deserted because it's, it's half 11 at night and everything is closed and it's December and it's cold. Um, actually, it's not cold. Uh, it's actually nice 15 degrees Celsius. It's, uh, it was absolutely Baltic freezing when I arrived to Zagreb this afternoon. But um, when you come down 350 kilometers down south, the, the weather seems to be a lot more pleasant down here. And I don't need a raincoat, but I'm here in front of St. James's Church um, on my own. I'm just going to walk around here for a while. I'm too tired to sleep. I need to... Uh, I need a, a little bit of exercise to get me to sleep because I'm just got a splitting headache. And I'm just going to spend a few days praying. That's all I came here to do was just to spend some time to pray. And I will be praying for everybody that has sent me your prayer requests. And those that follow my channel, those that are not even Catholic yet. There's one guy that reached out to me. He's going to be baptized next year. Hallelujah. You know, welcome to our beautiful church. The Catholic Church. Isn't it amazing to be Catholic in these times? Truly amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, what's the project for next year? Prayer. This is what I feel so drawn to, is to, to, to delve into prayer, to go into prayer more. This is where I feel so um, that we need to be opening up the doors of prayer to people. I'm just so enthusiasmed after Derry. Um, you know, I think if we if we dig deep into our beautiful living tradition, how much we could transform the world with prayer. And uh, that's my 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 thoughts on that situation. And uh, and I really want to take these few days here in Medjugorje to think it through, to see how we can lead people to love prayer more. Prayer is the greatest proof of God's existence. Prayer. I mean, I wish I'd have learned how to pray like the, like I'm enjoying prayer now. I wish I'd have learned how to do this years ago. But sure, you know, God sends his gifts when he wants to send them. And, uh, oh yeah, this is the... So God sends his gifts. It's, it's kind of surreal to be here. There's absolutely nobody here. It's just me. <laughs> it's, 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 it's quite amazing. And Our Lady, of course. And Our Lady. It's... I love this place. I love this place. It's like heaven on earth. I absolutely love this place. And I'm so glad that the weather isn't as bad as it was up north. Um, anyway, just ju I will be praying for you. Anybody that's suffering, anybody that, you know, files, finds life difficult, don't live in your pain. Reach out. Let your life be transformed by prayer. God doesn't look at our past. He looks at our, at our, how we offer ourselves today. How we offer ourselves in prayer. Lord, I give myself to you completely. Do that oblation, that offering to ourselves in prayer. Go into the heart and uh, let yourself be transformed by prayer. And that's really the message I'm sending here from Medjugorje. Um, this is a place I love. I love the prayer. I just love the time to pray. I'm just yearning for this time, these few days of prayer. And I'm uh, looking forward to going to adoration and just, just using the simple time. And that's what I'm encouraging people to do. If you're, if you're suffering, whatever you're suffering with, go into prayer. Offer yourself. Offer your suffering. Offer your sins, your past, everything. Give it to Christ. Let him transform your life. Uh, you know, let him transform your life. And um, I'm just walking up here to the to the risen Christ. I do like this. This uh, this is the Via Crucis walk here. It is absolutely deserted. If you were here in the summer, it's it, at this hour it'd be packed with people. But it's abs it's kind of surreal to come here, and there's absolutely nobody here. But it's lovely and warm. It is. You could I could go with just my hoodie. Um, it is, it's not cold at all. I'm uh, very blessed and just praying my rosary, 
my first Saturday rosary. Uh, I wanted to go to a church in Zagreb. There was a Catholic church there beside the bus station in Zagreb where I was waiting for the bus, but it was closed. So didn't get into a church today. That's life. But anyway, I got here and um, I'll be praying for everybody, all your intentions. And this is the mission we need for Ireland. We need to teach people to pray. Show them the beauty of prayer. It is, I, I feel so passionate about this topic because I think prayer can, prayer can do what, what, uh, what many of us need. Anyway, I'm just coming in here to the risen Christ. I'm just going to show it to you. It's the dog, the dog, the majority of the dogs are here. Yeah, looking for food as usual. Hello, doggies. The two doggies here. And three doggies, little doggie here. The Medjugorje dogs, this is where they live. Oh, he's tired. Hey, doggies. Yeah, the doggies are here. The Medjugorje ones. And uh, anyway, this. There's somebody praying there. I look at this fella. I'll just show you. He's asleep. <laughs> He's a poor thing. <laughs> I woke them up. Anyway, I'm going to finish my rosary and uh, and go to sleep. And then I'm going to enjoy a few days praying and retreat. And I will be praying for everyone. Anyway, God bless and greetings from Medjugorje. And, uh, um, you know, just take up this challenge of learning how to pray. If you want to do that course that we're looking to do next year in um, from the School of Mary, just let me know and we can try and get you involved in that if you want to take up that challenge. But, um, you know, as, as I said, don't don't live your life in the dark. Live your life with hope. Christian joy. Isn't it beautiful to be Catholic? God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.